So, these are just 17 slides. Mabilis lang to. But uh, it will be included in the exam for November 21. Or if you want to, to move, I'm open for that. Just let me know. Uh, but I want you to really uh, ensure that you attend my classes. And... Okay. So, just like the Alma Ata. Hello, please mute. Mute, 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 mute. So aside from the uh, 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 Alma Ata is also a place, right? For that, it's in 1978. Uh, from 1978, we have the Astana Declaration. So from Alma Ata towards universal health coverage and the SDG. So that the MDG. And last October 25 to 26, they made a declaration. And this declaration is for the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in pursuit of health for all. So uh, the Astana Declaration uh, envisioned that government and society will prior prioritize, promote, and protect people's health and well-being both at the population and individual level through a strong health system. Pag sinabi mong population-based, kasama dyan, most likely this is, an, this is being done in the public health. No? So primary health care and health services that are high quality, safe, comprehensive, integrated, which is we see that it's not much, much as all different from the Alma Ata Declaration. Okay? And uh, another is an enabling and health conducive environments in which individual and communities are empowered and engage in maintaining and enhancing their health and well-being. And partners and stakeholders are aligned in providing effective support to national health policies, strategies, and plans. So the first uh, declaration says, we strongly affirm their commitment to the fundamental right of every human being to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health without distinction of any kind. So convening on the 40th anniversary of the declaration of Alma Ata, 2018, can you remember? 40 years after, no? We, they reaffirm their commitment to all its values and principles, in particular to justice and solidarity, and underline the importance of health for peace, security, and socioeconomic development and their inter interdependence. So meaning health is now expanding. And this social determinants of health is not only involving illnesses, but it includes peace, security, and socioeconomic interdependence. No? development and their interdependence. Second this, they said that they are convinced that strengthening primary health care is the most inclusive, effective, and efficient approach to enhance people's physical and mental health as well as social being. Therefore, primary health care is a cornerstone of a sustainable, universal, sustainable health system for universal health care coverage. No? and the health-related SDG. So as they welcome the, uh, ako medyo uh, parang apprehensive ako as long as there will be a change in the leadership and governance. So the same, nandyan pa rin yung effective, nandyan pa rin yung efficient, nandyan pa rin yung equitable access to the quality and effective health care. So, they also acknowledge that in spite of the remarkable progress over the last 40 years, people in all parts of the world still have unaddressed health system. Just like all the countries that, is be, that was represented and presented to us. No? Remaining, he remaining healthy is challenging for many people, particularly the poor and people in vulnerable situations. Okay, So we find it ethically, politically, socially, and economically unacceptable that inequity in health and disparities in health outcomes persist. So if if Denmark has an 11, uh, how many is the uh, infant mortality? One point something. And the uh, uh, infant mortality of the Philippines, I think, ranges to eight. No. So another is to continue to address the growing burden of non-communicable diseases. Alam natin yan, yung healthy lifestyle, 
the harmful use of alcohol, tobacco, uh, substance abuse, no? unhealthy lifestyles and behaviors, and insufficient physical activity and unhealthy diets. And then, of course, what is happening right now, wars, violence, epidemics, natural disasters, and the health impacts of climate change. Parang yun lang yung nadagdag sa Astana Declaration. Okay? And yung climate change and uh, and the individual and the population base, no? So according to according to the Astana Declaration, promotive, preventive, preventive, rehabilitative, and palliative care must be accessible to all. So, dapat nakikita to in all the health system, in all the countries, or even at the peripheral level. No? We must save millions of people from poverty, particularly extreme poverty, for those who are living in $1 per day, 50 pesos per day, because of disproportionate out-of-pocket spending on health. So, yung iba, I think it was uh, Denmark with copay also, no? and other uh, uh, countries, but Singapore has the MediSafe, no? So they said that they can no longer underemphasize the crucial importance of health promotion and disease prevention, nor tolerate the fragmented, unsafe, or poor quality care. Nangyayari yan talaga, especially in the Philippines, napaka-fragmented ng ating health care, no? And we must address the shortage and, and uneven distribution of health workers. Human resources for health. And they said that we must act on the growing cost of healthcare and medicines and vaccines. We cannot afford waste in healthcare spending due to inefficiency. Okay. The commitment is that to make bold political choices for health sector, health across all sectors. It's not only health, but economic, infrastructure, uh, governance, and other sectors. No? And the policy is the health in all policies approach by involving more stakeholders in the achievement of health for all, leaving no one behind while addressing and managing conflicts of interest, promoting transparency, and implementing participatory governance. Ang gandang tignan, pero parang ano yata to, ah? socialism ba? Okay. So tama na na si Biden ang manalo? They said that they will strive to avoid or mitigate conflicts that undermine health system and roll back health gains. By what? Using a coherent and inclusive approach to expand primary health care as a pillar of universal health care in emergencies. Katulad sa Cuba, in Cuba, you cannot go to the hospital without going through the primary clinic, ah, polyclinic. No? Kailangan makita ka muna doon. Second, in Cuba also, one of the things that we observe, if ever mga nganak ka, meron silang uh, parang halfway house. This is not fully clinic. This is not even a hospital. Nandun lang ka sa mga birthing na yung waiting for you. If you will be go back, if you will go back to the primary clinic, uh, to the polyclinic, or you will go to the hospital. Okay. So they said that to appropriately provide and allocate human and other resources to strengthen primary health care. Number five is to build sustainable primary health care. Paulit-ulit na sabi itong primary health care. So, uh, this should be implemented in accordance with the national legislation, context, and priorities. And they will strengthen the health system by investing in primary health care. So, hopefully, uh, there will be a health center in every barangay. No? There will be health care worker in every barangay. And the a public health function will be prioritized. The essential public health function will be prioritized. No? The prioritization is on the disease prevention and health promotion. And will, meet, will aim to meet all people's health needs across the life course through a comprehensive, preventive, promotive, curative, rehabilitative services, and palliative care. So, magkakaroon na tayo ng community-based rehab, 
community community based managed health system so that in order to provide a comprehensive range of services including but not limited to vaccination screenings prevention and control and management of non communicable and communicable diseases so here again paulit ulit lang uh, primary healthcare will also be accessible equitable safe of high quality, comprehensive, efficient, acceptable, available, and affordable, and will deliver continuous integrated services that are people-centered and gender-sensitive. No? They also said that they will strive to avoid fragmentation and ensure a functional referral system. So a functional referral system is the one that we need in, if ever in a decentralized system. Kailangan mag-work ang, ang referral system in order to uh, make sure that the decentralization works. Tandaan niyo yung sinabi ko, ha? So, the success of primary healthcare will be driven by, number one, Knowledge and capacity building. Pag sinabi natin capacity building versus the capability building, the capacity building includes knowledge plus infrastructure, human resources. You are you are capacitating, no? The people you are capacitating the uh, in the facility, no? In order to improve health outcomes and ensure access for all people. Uh, to the right care at the right time and the most appropriate level of care. Pag sinabi natin at the right time and at the right care at the right time, we are talking of effectiveness and efficiency of care at all level of care from uh, level one to level three of care. And then research and share knowledge and experience capacity and improve the delivery of health services and care. Okay. So HRH, you might NDP, no? Uh, that they will support competition for health and other health personnel working at the primary healthcare level to respond effectively to people's health needs in a multidisciplinary context. Okay. Continue to invest in education, training, recruitment, development, motivation and rotation of, retention of the primary healthcare workforce. Kaya dapat merong uh, appropriate na skill mix, no? Aanin mo yung ano, puro nurses, wala naman doctor. So, dapat may doctor. Okay? So, ito yung mga importante, ha? First is uh, human resources for health, technology, okay? Financing, Okay. And then empowerment of individual and communities. So how they will do that, it is still remain to be seen. Uh, sabi nila, uh, ang empowerment, ano ba, democratic or uh, socialist uh, government ang kailangan. No? Pero I think these are all parang ang feeling ko. Uh, hopefully, hopefully ma-achieve ito. But until people will be willing for their uh, to have their commitment in supporting primary health care. Uh, ito, aligning stakeholder support to national policies, strategies, and plans because of some uh, countries have already implemented decentralization. Kaya okay lang talaga na meron tayong uh, devolved healthcare system. So that we can uh, empower and we can align it into the national policies and strategies. Okay. I think this is the last slide. Uh, all people, uh, we will act on this declaration in solidarity and coordination between governments, WHO, UNICEF, and other stakeholders. All people, countries, and organizations are encouraged to support this movement and countries will periodically review the implementation of this declaration in cooperation with stakeholders. Together we can and will achieve health and well-being for all, leaving no one behind. Kung makikita nyo, palaging naka, ano to, 
uh, we heal as one, leaving no one behind, no? Uh, achieve. No? Okay. Are you confident? Are you confident that we will, uh, what to call this? We will achieve primary health care through the Astana Declaration. Uh, if you say yes, thumbs down. If you say no, thumbs. Uh, if you say yes, thumbs up. If you say no, thumbs down. Walang thumbs down <laughs> I will have a thumbs down to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, cry na lang, cry. <laughs> Wala din po do. <laughs> May cry do at awa pala yan. Ato, anong ba to? Nabibigla. Open mouth. <laughs> Sige, for, for, for those who said that there is hope for uh, universal health care for all, give me a thumbs up. Yung medyo alanganin, give me an open mouth. Kayo ang pag-asa namin. Kayo. Isa. What about the others? What about the others? Hindi yata nakikinig. Okay, you are the next generation of leaders in the healthcare. And uh, siguro, sana nga kayo nga yung kasunod because I think uh, primary healthcare, public health is still, 70% uh, of diseases are still preventable. There is hope if 10% only, or maybe 20%, 20% of this class will choose public health. Will you? Will you choose public health? Yes, oh, no. Thumbs up yung mag-choose ng public health dyan. Wow! Ang dami! Mag-MHO tsaka pwede mo mag uh, uh, mag-UUP mag-masters in public health doctor of epidemiology and research. Very good. Congratulations. Right now dream that there will be uh, that every Filipino will have access to essential health care. And of, wow, DTTB, congratulations. Ipasa nyo ang, ano ha, ang PCM123. So, Ipasa thank you kanina. very much. Uh, uh, eh, kung wang di kayo mag, kung papasa kayo sa exam, to us, uh, Dr. Belicano, if, uh, ever you will you will have it on the 21st or 22 pwede rin naman wala naman problema sa akin kung gusto nyo November 3 pwede rin 29 okay so let me pray pray for your bi-monthly yes yes Yes, Dr. Belicano. Uh, Are you talking to, to Ma'am Sha? Okay lang daw po on November 21, 2 p.m. po. The exam. Kaya nga, okay lang sa akin to move it. Basta magsabi lang kayo. Kung hindi nyo kayo sa 21, okay lang din. Okay. November 21, 2 p.m. Uh, let me... The uh, everybody likes November 21? No, Doc. Okay lang lahat or okay to move? Ha? Move na lang po. Move? Move or 21? Discuss it with your class na lang, ha, Dr. Okay. Uh, yung mga nag-represent or 
uh, what do you call this? Don't forget to send your questions kasi karamihan doon manggagaling sa presentation. And of course, yung debate and yung mga ano, galing mag, I, I, I will not forget Dr. Corita ng galing mag ano, moderator. Okay, so sige, let's pray for, let's pray and then I'll pray for your exam for the bi-monthly. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, I thank you for this wonderful time with uh, this batch 2024. I pray, Lord, that you will uh, take care of them and even Lord, give them the discipline and also wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as they prepare for their bi-monthly exams. Thank you, God, that you are the source of every learning. You are the source of uh, uh, every a uh, thing that we are enjoying, Lord. So I pray, Father, that uh, you are going to give them uh, the strength physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Take good care of them, Lord. And I pray, Father, that there will be no glitches during the time that they will take the exam. Father, thank you. And I pray, Lord, that you go ahead of them. And Father, I pray that they will not forget the very reason why you want them to become a doctor and to be the kind of person that you want me to be. You want them to be, Lord. This is our prayer, Lord, with thanksgiving. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Doc. God bless, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Thank, Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Bye. 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 Bye.